Hey everybody, here we are for Monday Mingle on January 10th. Um, it's been about two months or three or more since I've done one. Uh, really sorry about that. I've uh, been kind of busy trying to do all kinds of new plans, all kind of big things. I have a big thing coming with Blogzilla's that's going to help people in blogging and SEO and that kind of thing. So it's going to be kind of instructional but also entertaining. So it's going to be cool. Get my finger up higher. You might wonder what all these uh, little, you know, effects are and everything. Um, we just moved into a new house about well, about two, three months ago uh, here in the Finger Lakes in the New York area and the house that we're in was built in 1840 something and so I thought in time for the period you know we'll try and get the film grain going just like they would have back then if they had cameras, I don't know, 1900s, I don't know, 1840s, 50s uh, but just like the original farmhouse, it's, I love this area um, and we're in the historic district so I don't know what kind of laws and regulations there are on HD video. So we're going to go back to like the film grain and everything. Um, this week we're going to answer three questions from Jennifer at 80 mile per hour mom, 80mphmom.com. And this week's questions are from Robin at Robin's Online World Emporium. Well, there's no emporium. I just thought that'd sound better. Um, okay, first question. Who has the best voice you have ever heard or the sexiest? And I can't pick myself, but if I had to choose, and I don't even know her name, but it's been a running thing with my cousin and I, and no, my cousin is not who I feel has the sexiest voice, but she had an answering machine, and this answering machine, uh, the female voice, like the can thing that came from the factory, was the most seductive, sultry voice. It just made you want to leave a message. Uh, she was hot. And so that's my pick, and I don't know who it is, um, but I do want to have it here. Because one Christmas, when they finally upgraded and got a digital answering machine, uh, she gave me this. You can see it says, together at last. Got this for Christmas. So I'm going to play it for you, and uh, you're going you're gonna to agree with me. Very sexy. Here we, go. we are unavailable to take your call. Please send a message. Thank you for calling. You hear that? Thank you for calling. I just I love that. Uh, that's one more time. Unavailable to take your call. Please leave a message. Thank you for calling. Hmm. Listen to that all day. And I pretty much do. Yeah, I have need therapy. Um, second question Would you rather be smarter, more athletic, or better looking? Um, I tell you, this is like asking water if it'd rather be wet, aqueous, or watery. You know, uh, I'm pretty much taking two away. Uh, let's see, smarter. Um, that could get me into trouble. Um, more athletic, yeah, maybe better looking. Come on. Um, I have enough problems now uh, going out in public and everything with all the skin cancer scars and, you know, the, the balding hair. It's, it's too much for a lot of women. So I'm going to say more athletic because then I could lose weight faster because of my little uh, rush to lose weight for my life insurance program. I'm down um, 13. 14 pounds, 13 or 14 pounds in six weeks. Not too bad, but I got a little bit more to go. I still have six pounds to lose. Um, let's see. Number three, if you were a doctor, which specialty would you choose? Uh, this is difficult because I don't like the sight of blood. And uh, so that pretty much rules out the ER. Or, uh oh. Nope. Sorry. Thought I heard ghost footsteps. old houses, uh, ghosts, very rampant around here. Anyway, so I can't do blood. Um, and Jennifer said the same thing with children. Like she loves working with children and thing, but she wouldn't want to see them suffer. And to be a doctor, that'd be really difficult for me as well. Um, I'm assuming with this question, I'm already bestowed all of the medical knowledge that I need to be that doctor. So I believe that I would have to choose well, it couldn't be anything with the feet. I, I, I don't know. That would creep me out. Some old woman or man putting her big Barney Rubble big feet all crusty. Because they're coming to you when they have problems. They're not coming to you because my, my feet are so soft and smooth and sexy. Um, they're coming to you because they're jacked up. And I can't deal with, with feet that are jacked up. So uh, it can't be a photometrist, photologist. It can't be one of those. Um, I guess... Uh, purely on salary alone, um, heart surgeon, 
but in the specialist role of supervisor um, with some smelling salts nearby in case there's blood, <laughs> which there might be. So uh, yeah, that's my specialty. Um, oh, take back that medical question. I don't want to be a cardiologist. No, I can actually make more money this way and more funny things happen is if I am a plastic surgeon because I could do things like this. I could go like this and then bam, check it out. See, I could make, who's going to mess with this? Nobody, nobody. So let me bring a little Frankenstein in here. I want to show you what I can do um, as a doctor. So hang on one second as uh, Greg, plastic surgeon, goes to work here. Hang on a second. All right, so here's my son uh, who's going to be my subject for my experiment, my uh, plastic surgeon experiment here. All right, Michael, get ready. I'm going to turn you into Frankenstein. You ready? Whoa! I need some bolts. <laughs> need some bolts, like right there. Whoa! Don't be careful. You're gonna hurt somebody turning that noggin. Look at those eyebrows. Beautiful. <laughs> and who's gonna mess with me? Walrus man. <laughs> look at those eyebrows. You're looking great. <laughs> All right, Frankenstein. You wanna go back and eat? Okay. Hey, mom. Hi, mom. Mom, you wanna get in here? Uh, hey, mom. Mommy thinks she's already jacked up enough. <laughs> Master plastic surgeon can quite a. Yeah. Well, you get in here. Walrus man. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can, how many movies could I be in? Okay, let's get back to the 1800s here. And Cameron, oh, do you want to see yourself? We're going to say goodbye to everybody uh, from Money Mingo. Say goodbye and wave. Wave, wave goodbye. Say bye-bye. Okay, -bye. Michael, get your hand out of the way. Say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Okay, you guys don't get a goodbye from the two-year-old. All right, that was Money Mingo. I kept it under 10 minutes. Boop, boop, boop. I will win. Oh, we'll say goodbye. Please? Okay. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Take care.